So Brad, the uh, devices that we've seen uh, coming out of CES have uh, been remarkable. We showed one a little bit earlier uh, today, the Motorola Atrix 4G, but it's only one, it's one of many, many Android devices that, uh, that are coming to market, showing that Google's really making a lot of progress in um, impacting the marketplace with Android. But uh, they're just at the front end of impacting the marketplace for different types of form factor devices with uh, Chrome OS. And I think it was about a month ago now, we were uh, at their launch event, uh, one of their uh, featured partners um, at the launch of the uh, Google Chrome Notebook. That's right, up in San Francisco. So we have one here. We do. Today to show everyone, so um, mm -hmm. you know, you know let's, let, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Well, you know, it's pretty easy to wrap your head around this because the Chrome browser's been around for a long time. So we've downloaded it, you know, got the beta version, and it's good, they're, they're, they stress fast. So you load the browser, things load quick. That's what they like, that's their differentiation. So I've been using that for a long time, love it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting and you can mm -hmm. compare it against yeah. the others. This is effectively putting hardware under the Chrome browser. So the Chrome OS is as thin as it can be, Effectively, you boot it and it boots instantly and it comes right to the browser. So it's a series of tabs that come along the top. Mm -hmm. And each tab is a different web site or application that you go to, right? But with Citrix added to the equation, with the receiver here, now we bring enterprise applications to those very same tabs. So it's not just limited to browsers and applications, mm -hmm. or browser-based web applications. So that's what we're going to show you today. We're going to take receiver and connect into a Zenap 6 back end and get some applications and bring those to this interface. And this is what we shared with the, uh, the world in San Francisco about a month ago at the launch with Google. Mm. So let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do here is go ahead and log in. And you see browser-based experience entirely. When I come up, it shows me the front end of the applications that I have set in receiver that I'd like to work with. And I've got three loaded up already, right? If I go over to the left-hand side here and click on this arrow and click on Enterprise Apps, well, that shows me everything Receiver would show me, all the applications mm -hmm. that are made available to me as the end user. Mm -hmm. And if I want to add some of these in here, I go like in the blue cross, click on the little plus sign, and they start adding into my space. Uh, let's see, let's grab another couple of things here, coaching, skills matrix, whatever it might be, click, add, off it goes. And if I go back to my applications, uh, icon, click on that, there are my applications, right? Mm -hmm. So now that these are mine and I've chosen them and they're in my web space, I can go and click on the icon and fire up the app. So the first one, SolidWorks, is this 3D CAD CAM application. It's going to fire up on Zen App 6 and then send the pixels to my display here. Put me in a tab, right? And you can see the C-Scooter application that I could start working with also. If I go back to the Citrix Receiver tab, well, I can pick on Office, uh, let's see, Excel 2010. So, spreadsheet. Now, back in my Zen app space, I had been working on the spreadsheet. It was open. I left it open in my, in my session. So here, authenticated, connected, bang. It gives me right back to where I was working. So I've got a spreadsheet open in there. So this basically continues. I can go and pick up SAP and all my other applications. As I use them, they just go in different tabs as opposed to windows kind of scattered around right. the screen, right? But then I can just come rotate right through these, they're all working for me, and if I need more, I can pop down into the enterprise apps, and mm -hmm. I can get more, right? Pretty straightforward. So, this is uh, actually uh, fascinating, because first of all, it's the uh, first design that we have for a browser-based experience that is receiver. So, that's, right. th that's, that's the first thing here. Secondly, this is uh, browser as operating system, so, uh, but without the management of Windows, not big capital letter W, uh, uh, but uh, you know small W Windows, mm -hmm. and uh, the tabs are like the taskbar where you can just do the task switching between apps, and it's designed for full screen mode on on each app that you use. So right. it's designed for simplicity and speed and for uh, connectivity all the time. Um, mm -hmm. We're obviously it's. Uh, early uh, days and uh, we'll see uh, uh, how it does in the marketplace, but there's a lot of interest uh, in this device yeah. and a lot of interest in the partnership that we have building now with Google. We're pretty right. excited about it. And this is so early in the days, this device is codenamed CR48. That's how early right. we are. Yeah. So the device is uh, sort of a black device with no branding on it and such. They made about 20, 30,000 of these and they essentially gave them away so that people could get their hands on them, start experiencing Chrome OS, tab experience. And with this, connect in to receiver, get your app, enterprise applications in here as well. 
So clearly, as we go into with Google into the enterprise, which is key for them, uh, I can't see them doing it in a way without us because we add so much value to this particular platform. Yeah. So, um, again, another exciting demonstration and another exciting demonstration of our commitment to receiver everywhere, supporting consumerization and really, allow, really allowing our enterprise customers to embrace consumerization by saying yes to every single device. Thanks, Brad. Very good, thank you.